Okay, so this is the fifth part of the um, process. I will be creating the color maps and physically based rendering materials using DDU. Um, we're just going to create uh, a few of the maps, a few of the textures, and then test it out. And then we'll be moving on to the next uh, to create the low poly geometry. But um, let's get started on those uh, materials. Okay, so here we're going to take a look at creating the color map. Uh, of the base color and testing the texture in environment set. Um, so this is our uh, final uh, color texture. Um, this is going to be a flat color to start out with. Um, and uh, well, I'm going to take a look at how we will build this, the base color. Um, so these are just solid colors over the uh, uh, texture um, photograph maps uh, that we made originally. So I kind of used the normals and the grid to make the base color. I'm just going to use the color picker to grab the, the actual colors from here. So I'm going to start out with probably something simple like the uh, concrete here, um, this part here. So I'm going to grab what color I think is the best base color for this, which is probably a light tan here. And then uh, I'm going to go use the extras uh, for the grid. and this will all be one color so this is going to snap to our grid and by doing that I'm going to view show grid and then snap to grid and document bounds. We're going to need both of those settings for this whole video so now that we have that I'm going to go alt backspace and then I'll throw in that uh, color in there and uh, and we'll just name that um, block walls and we're creating a new layer and we'll move on to uh, say this concrete here so I'm going to hit I for the color picker and drop this color here and throw it down there and we'll just call this uh, uh, sidewalk sidewalk and create a new uh, layer and I'm going to color pick this uh, uh, like other part of the concrete here and uh, grab our slider or our marquee tool and paste that in and call this uh, um, top left uh, detail uh, block and some of these names are just going to be generalized and, and some of them are going to be actually specific like this would be door top right um, but I'm just going to continue on with these uh, cement things here and create the best base color I can possibly pick here um, and fill that in and I'm going to call this uh, blocks U shape um, and then create another one and and when we get to our more complicated uh, uh, colors we'll have to use normal maps to actually uh, get those colors in there put uh, square black create a new layer and uh, marquee tool and we'll color pick this green here and paste that in and this is going to be a uh, green uh, small uh, base. Create a new layer. And now we get to some different color uh, options here. So um, I don't want to just grab this and make it a color because if we turn off our grid here, uh, we don't. This is just the texture we started out with, so we don't know if it's going to be this line here if it's going to be this line or this big so we have to go to our normals to find that out um, and so here we have our normals so I could just make a marquee selection and color this but um, I think a better option a better plan would be to actually go to that normal um, and I think that's door top right side door yep and we can go to here and actually select what layer this is on and then uh, hit control and select on the actual layer uh, on the uh, diagram here and now we have that selection so we can go back to our base color and uh, actually turn off normals and color pick this uh, kind of brass looking color and we'll just paste that in so now that's exactly where it's going to be in our texture um, so let's go back to our normals and pick out this uh, window here. Um, I'm going to already color pick it, it's going to be like a black. Um, so we can go back to our normals and what we're going to be looking for is 
one of these shades, so I'm just going to have to turn them on and off just to find it. Um, and there we go, there's our uh, middle uh, black uh, color for the window. And uh, turn off the normals, color pick this here, and then just fill it in. Now I'm going to do this steel plate here, um, and I'm going to color pick that, and then I'm going to go back to the normals and find that. Looks like it's in this shape here, so there it is. And I'm back to my base color and call this uh, steel. And we're going to name this one uh, window and paste it in. Actually, we're going to paste it in the steel layer. And now we just need uh, this red dark wood. I'm just going this, I don't like this red over here, I like this red here, but this is actually more consistent in it. So I'm going to pick this red and go back to our normals and see if we can find which one this is. It's not that one. Actually, for this one, uh, we don't actually need. We just need the outline of the whole door, so we'll go back to here, and this is going to be underneath. So this will be a uh, red wood, and paste that in. So now we're uh, getting somewhere. Um, so now the only thing left is actually it looks like we missed this bottom part here. So I'm just going to go to the the view here and select everything here. Let me just turn off the normals to see where this ends. Okay, so it actually, that's too much. It actually ends right there. So um, that's where we want it. But we got to pick this window up here. So turn off our grid, go back to our normals, and find the window. So it's one of these. It's probably this one. And which one is it? this one here, this yellow one, and there's our window. So let's go back to base color and put on the same layer as this window, color pick this and paste that in. Now we have our whole door done. So what I'm going to do now is uh, uh, go back to our grid view, turn off this for a second, turn off our normals for a second, and just select this. I'm going to go back into here and hit Control shift i to select the inverse and get rid of this extra here that we don't need. So there we go, we got rid of that. Okay, let's move on to this one. Uh, this is going to be pretty easy, we might not even have to take a look at the normals for this one. But, um, so I'm going to call this uh, floor uh, dark and pick color pick this kind of gray texture. And... Um, Actually, this data is not even in the normals because there's now bump there. So uh, we're just going to have to create this um, just by ourselves for the first time here. So I'm just going to take off my grid and marquee this. And I'm going to go to make new layer, name this floor uh, tan and color pick this using the I key and then paste that in and then get rid of this channel and uh, I think uh, yep I already have that done but I'll do it again just to show how I did it um, instead of taking the pen tool and I'm just gonna draw this line in here uh, it doesn't matter over here because that's not what we're gonna be cutting out so I can just freely just draw this in and I think I copy that, but quickly enough, I'll just draw it in. Um, and that looks a little bit off right now, but if we go back to control and then refine this by the handlebars, um, we'll get a much better result than if we just try to do it all in one step. So that's about good. Get this one last piece to line up here. And make this a little bit more cornered, round, rounded there. Okay, 
So now we'll uh, rename this um, F because uh, I'm kind of going in order A, C, D, E, F. Uh, B I must have deleted for some reason. I uh, didn't need that. So now we'll control click on this and turn this on and then go to our mask and that'll I'll hit c control shift I to select the inverse and then click on the mask and that'll cut that out for us. Okay. And um, now for this piece here, the neon uh, lights, um, uh, that's kind of tedious work, so I'm not going to waste our time working on that. I'm just going to show what I did. Um, basically, um, I just uh, grabbed with the marquee tool and marked uh, the section and then colored it in red. And then the background, um, I turned on the grid and made this whole thing blue. So that's kind of what I did for that. Uh, it took quite a while. Um, so I'm not going to really waste time in this video to do that. Um, but let's move on to um, this door here. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to first uh, create the whole red color of it. Um, and I think it's the same red as this. So I'm just going to color pick this red to make it consistent. And then make a new layer and call this uh, door side because it's going to go on the side and then paste this in turn this layer off so we can see and then I'm going to go find the normal part of this um, turn off the grid it's a little bit easier to see okay and then uh, I believe it's going to be one of these shapes here um, if you don't know which one it is, I just like to turn off the layers and see if it turned off. If it turned off in those set of layers, then we just turn them on in order, and we find out that it's this one here, door two. So it was labeled anyway. So let's figure out which section we need. Okay, we're gonna need that for the handle, um, but I also want to select the other parts of this too because that's the same color. So. Looks like it's going to be these two. So if we just add this selection, we can do it all in one step. So we'll turn off the normals and color pick this and paste it in there. Oops, got to be on a layer first. Paste it in there. I'm just going to call this green handle. Green handle. And then all we need is this window here left. So that's easy enough to go back to the normal and find where it is. And I think it's going to be, turn these back on, maybe it was above here, okay, so it looks like it was this one, so we select that by clicking control and then to click on this mask part, if you click on this it's not going to do anything, so you got to click on the shape. And then we'll turn off our normals, go back to our base color, and paste this green in. And we'll just call this uh, window green. Two E's. And then what I like to do after each piece is, uh, see it's kind of overlapping here, so I'm going to grab the, the whole shape and hit Control shift i to inverse, or you can go up to select inverse same thing just a little bit shorter key stroke um, so I'm just going to delete these parts that we don't need and there's our door okay so I'm just going to kind of skip ahead uh, to some of these more complicated pieces and now for this piece here um, most of this is brass so I'm just going to select the whole thing color pick uh, what I think is the best color which is probably going to be something like this here, paste this in, and then hide that and call this uh, brass uh, on a ticket booth, and then create a new layer, and then turn this off, and we're going to find where this marble goes, because I, I don't really know where this ends here in my texture, so in order to find that, I'm just going to go to the normal, and uh, let's see, I think I named it ticket something, ticket booth, yep. So, it's going to be one of these shapes. Uh, 
actually it's gonna be a different part of the shape so I'm not sure where that is right now because it, it's probably duplicated from another selection so it's one of these it's a little out of place but uh, that's okay looks like it's this piece here no Layer still on. So it's this one here. Okay, I probably just selected it from some other uh, place, but it's, so it's a little out of order, but uh, that's fine. So um, I go back to turn off my normals. It's kind of lagging here because it's a pretty big file, but in order to keep everything editable, I want to keep everything together. So I'm going to call this marble blue, and I'm just going to grab the base color, which I think it would be this color. Paste that in. And then, uh, all this is the same material except for this marble here and then this window. So, um, I have the same blue color. So I'm just going to find this window cut out here. Um, go into our normals and it's going to be in here somewhere. So, if I can find this, um, Let's see. It's probably near the bottom, since it's underneath all the other layers. There it is. So let's color pick that, or uh, select that. And then we'll go to our marble layer and paste that in. Uh, now it looks like it went behind it. So we do have a little bit of a problem here. Uh, we're not getting this uh, cut out here, so we're gonna have to go back and find that piece. Um, right now it's turned off, so we know it's one of the off ones and it's near the bottom. Okay, so there's four of them. So it looks like it's going to be these four right here. So I'm just going to control click there. I'm going to control shift click to add a selection. And then control shift click all these. And then I'm going to go back to my base color and delete it from the marble. Actually, it looks like it should also be cut. here. So I'm going to control shift I and then delete that part there. Okay, and then we just have the window on the top to do. So I'm going to go back to my normals and turn this on. And it looks like it's going to be this piece here. It's quick enough to find that. And I'm just going to name this a ticket window and it's kind of a hard pick to find but I think it's about this color here and we'll just paste that in oops yeah right there yeah so now we have that done uh, but see it's a little over on the edge here so um, I'm gonna control or just select this and then hit delete okay it looks like our uh, background here for our blue is a little bit off so it shouldn't be any higher than these four triangles here. So right now my snap's on, so I'm gonna turn my snap off and use this as a guide to delete that extra bit out. Okay, we're gonna definitely have to go to the normals on this one. Um, turn off my grid. Okay, uh, let's do this window part of it first. So now uh, I'm going to make a new layer and call it door window and it's going to be probably a black tint so we'll paste that there. Um, 
that's going to be a brass color, but it's going to be the same color as this, it's just in a shadow. So, I'm going to go here and then this door brass with two S's. And paste that in. And then for the marble, we can just select this because it's going to be underneath a door marble. Throw it underneath here. Grab this color, paste it in there, and then we'll uh, cut this out. Go out there, Control Shift I, and delete that. Um, now I'm just going to select the same thing and do the same thing with this brass here. Um, I pick her this color because that's the whole color of it. Um, throw it beneath the window. And then uh, mark it and control shift I and then delete backspace key. Now all we have to do is this uh, door plate and then um, and then this gap here that we need right here. So let's get the door plate first. So I'm just gonna I select this part here and paste it in and call this steel plate and then all we need is this uh, uh, gap here um, which is going to be important when we mirror this over so um, I know that gap is placed here I just have to find it uh, is that even our door? no here's a door here okay so it's going to be in this group Looks like it's one of these. Okay. Uh, so actually we're going to need this here. This here. I have to do this kind of reverse because I don't have an actual uh, part of that. It's just in the background, that, that gap. So um, we'll come in here and turn all these on. And make a new layer called Gap. and hit the D key for black and put that there and then I'm going to take turn this off and grab the inside of the door control shift I and then hit delete it looks like we have a little bit too big a gap up here so um, that looks about good right there so I'm just going to eye it and delete the rest of that and looks like this has to go below the brass or just above the brass but then we have to get rid of this bottom part here so we'll just delete that oh, just delete that so we want to control shift i and then delete the black of the door and the gap so it's kind of confusing, but um, now that we have that straightened out. So now, if we take a look at the whole thing, we now have our base color for, well this door we didn't do because it's the same uh, procedure as all these other doors, so didn't want to really waste uh, your time on uh, making that. So um, now that we're all done with this, uh, we're going to move into the next section, which is going to be testing the uh, maps and working with the textures more. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.